be a millionaire. Hello. Hello, Chris. Oh, hiya. Um, I've got John here. I've got John Cunningham. He's on £32,000. Right. Good news. But, Sally, with your help, we can get him up to £64,000, at least. Okay. okay. The next voice you hear will be John's. So he'll tell you a question and four possible answers. One of those is worth £64,000. Right. Okay, John, your time starts now. In Japan, what is the Shinkansen? Sumo wrestling champion, Emperor's Palace, Tokyo Stock Exchange, or High Speed Rail Line? Read the four again. Sumo wrestling, Tokyo. Emperor's Palace, Tokyo Stock Exchange, or High Speed Rail Line? High speed rail line. What, what was the name of the thing again, Johnny? Shinkansen. Shinkansen. Spell it S I N. Mm. Ah. Ran out of time. Um, you still got a 50 50. Have you got an inkling? She said high speed rail line, but I think that she was just repeating things. <laughs> Um, but I'm a little stymied here, so I think I will use up my 50-50 as well. OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Please leave John just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Shinkansen, Emperor's Palace or High Speed Rail Line? One of those is worth £64,000. I have a vague feeling, and it is very vague. But uh, something to do with Sen on the end is something to do with home. I have to guess, and I'm going to guess Emperor's Palace. Final answer. Yes. John, you had thirty-two thousand pounds. You've used up all your lifelines. I'm afraid you still have £32,000. You picked the wrong one. The right answer is High Speed Rail Line. <laughs> John, I'm really sorry. But I've got this. You still... I was looking desperately for a hero. I think, where's it gone? It's still in your pocket. Give him a big hand. John goes away with £32,000. Just it on what way. Thank you. Thank you. John Cunningham goes back to Cardiff with £32,000. More big money tonight. Nine contestants left. Fastest finger first again right. Put four answers in the correct order in the fastest time. And you'll be next to play for a possible £1 million. Nice and quiet, please, in the audience. Right, here comes the next question. Starting with the northernmost, put these national parks in order. North right down to the south. Four national parks coming up. Here they are. Dartmoor, Northumberland, Peak District, Brecon Beacons. Faces of absolute horror there, and that's only the audience. Um, starting with the nor northernmost four national parks, right at the top, then uh, Northumberland, then coming down Peak District National Park, then coming down the other side, it's the Brecon Beacons, then down in the south, Dartmoor. That's the right order, north to south. Let's find out how many got it right, then let's find out who got it right in the fastest time. These all got it right, only two. Andy Down was fastest in 5.89 seconds. Andy, come on. Sitting there, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And this is yeah, why you I came. Couldn't believe you came it. to come here, to go there, to win a million quid. Yes. Yeah. You ready for this? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Come on. Good. Okay, Andy, take your time. Have a look. Question number one is worth one hundred pounds. Here it comes. Which word identifies a small type of cultivated mushroom? Zip. Popper. Button. Toggle. Button. It's right answer, you've got £100. <laughs> little triplets all clapping away, mm. watching at home. <laughs> right, have a look for £200, question number two. Which nursery rhyme character could not be repaired after he had a great fall? If you get this wrong, you'll never yeah. dare go back in the nick again. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie Porgy. Humpty Dumpty. Chicken Lickin or Jack Spratt? Humpty Dumpty. It's right answer, you've got £200. 
Have a look for question number three. 300 quid, nice and straightforward so far. Here it comes. Which short phrase derived from Chinese means quickly in English? Chop chip. Chop chip. Chop chop. Chip chop. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell us the answer. Chop chop. Chop chop is the right answer. What well up? <laughs> so, you still got your lifeline? Have you got um, from the you know the ladies up there? Have you had any um, any master tactics from them? Oh, you mean orders? Yeah, well, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, get it right or don't come home. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> well, now even though the triplets at age two aren't completely clear about what's going on, they do understand that Daddy's on television tonight, and this is true. This they are now calling him La La because they think he's become a Teletubby. <laughs> Here we go. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Question number four for £500. Here it is. Which fruit is used to make cider? You probably know this. Peaches, grapes, tangerines, apples. Apples. That's right, answer. You got 500 quid. <laughs> Have a look. Question number five is worth a guaranteed £1,000. Here it is. In Germany, what's an autobahn? Restaurant, swimming pool, church. Motorway. It's a motorway. Motorway, right answer, you've got a thousand pounds. And aren't you a happy bunny man? <laughs> so, whatever happens, Andy, you go home with at least a thousand pounds. Triplets, wife, mum, split it five ways, they've got two hundred pounds each, you've got nothing. Have a look at question number six. You're ten away from one million, take your time. What's the first name of the British fashion designer whose surname is Westwood? Catherine, Betty, Vivian, Bella. It's Vivian. Up on your fashion? Um, well, no, no, all right. <laughs> sure? Um, yes. Final answer? Yes. It's good. You got £2,000, well up. <laughs> Take your time, you've got all three lifelines. Have a look at question number seven. It's worth £4,000. In which month do Americans celebrate Independence Day? March, May, July, September. It's July. Sure? Uh, yes, I think. <laughs> uh, yes, I think. Final answer? Yes. It's good, Andy, you got £4,000. <laughs> 4th of July, Independence Day in the USA. Right, you've got £4,000. Andy, just take your time, look at these. This is where the money goes up very steeply, but the drops are a bit steep as well. You're eight away from one million. This is question number eight of 15. It's worth £8,000. Here it comes. Which of these people is most likely to use a Petri dish? Dog breeder, scientist, gardener, chef. Scientist. How do you know? I think I went to school once, a long time ago. But, uh, <laughs> I remember it from school. Final answer. Yeah. You did go to school. It's worth £8,000. <laughs> Tomorrow at nine here on Challenge, Davina returns with her silky locks in million pound drop. Later at ten over on pick, they've Z Nation as Murphy is finally found.